Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for Monday, November 21st, 2016. Looking at the precipitation that has fallen across the Great Basin over the past seven days, uh, you can see the observed precipitation map on the left. Uh, you can see really light precipitation across the majority of the Great Basin, and if we compare that precipitation to normal, which is the map on the right, you can see that over the past seven days, uh, precipitation has been well below normal across pretty much the entire Great Basin. The water vapor satellite today shows a system moving into the western part of the area and that will impact pretty much the entire Great Basin over the next day or two. So looking at today, uh, from the map on the left you can see a lot of moisture across the area as that system is in place overhead. And as far as mixing, it will be generally port affair across the Great Basin today. Taking a look in more detail, you can see the transport winds are pretty light across the entire area for today, and mixing heights are low, and so with the combination of those two, we will see uh, generally port of fair mixing across the Great Basin today. Uh, that will remain the case into Tuesday. You can see that high pressure is building across the area tomorrow behind that system, and with the high pressure building, we will see really light transport winds across the majority of the area, as, lo as well as low mixing heights. Uh, mixing may begin to improve on Wednesday across the area as we see a system moving into the Great Basin. Uh, transport winds will begin to pick up across many areas ahead of that system and our mixing heights will improve as well. So in the next three days, uh, Wednesday should be the day with the best mixing. And if we look at the forecast clearing index from the National Weather Service in Salt Lake City, we see that same trend reflected with uh, the best mixing across many areas on Wednesday. Over the next three days we are expecting a fair amount of precipitation across the Great Basin. Uh, this map here shows the expected three-day precipitation accumulation from the WPC and pretty much the entire Great Basin will see precipitation. On Thursday another system will begin to move into the northern part of the Great Basin and generally we will see port of air mixing though some areas could see some excellent mixing ahead of that system. On Friday, the next best mixing is looking to be across parts of Nevada with Port of Fair mixing across the remainder of the area. And as we move into Saturday, uh, it is looking like there is a potential for another storm to impact the Great Basin, which will bring uh, good to excellent mixing across many areas. And that trend will continue into Sunday, though we could see some uh, decrease in mixing across the northwestern portions of the area. Uh, those are the the areas highlighted in purple on this map here on the right. So looking at precipitation accumulation in the four to five day period, uh, the storms will really be focused on the northern part of the Great Basin. You can see from this map that the precipitation is really expected, mainly across portions of northern Nevada and Idaho and extreme northern Utah in the four to five day period. In the 8 to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for below normal temperatures and above normal precipitation. So if this does end up happening, we are looking at a period of cooler, wetter weather, uh, which would be a great thing for the snowpack here in Utah. And if we do see storms moving through, that could bring us periods of good mixing as well. Alright, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.